It's all déjà vu all over again. Um, the last European Council uh, proved to be one of the most significant in years. Um, uh, yet my prediction uh, is that we will need uh, more European summits to secure the future of the Euro. Uh, once more, the European leaders uh, were facing uh, a very tough call. Uh, they had to act and to address short-term emergencies, uh, while at the same time they had to uh, take measures capable to be viable for the future and the long term. And overall, I would say that most of the decisions that were taken, they signal the willingness to make a step further in European integration. Um, in order to do so, they need to fix the, the regional scene, that of establishing a European monetary union without a backing up of a European economic union. So we are going towards this direction, but the big question is what we need, right? Do we need a fiscal union? Do we need a banking union? Uh, do we need to go towards a full political union? And I would say that there's a bit of all these possible projects in the decisions that were taken. And the bottom line is this decision uh, that the permanent bailout fund, the ESM, uh, will be able to recapitalize banks directly rather than via uh, the government. And this is important because it breaks the visual circle existing between uh, the banking system and the sovereign debts dynamic. So we're going to be able to see countries that will have their banking systems saved without having them to borrow money, thus inflating their debts in order to reach such a result. So we are going towards this direction, uh, which I think is a positive one. But again, it's just one step in, in the right direction. I think we, we are getting there. Most of the decisions taken so far, they show the willingness to really uh, go towards uh, a more mutualization of debt. Uh, and that's exactly where the debate about the euro bonds kicks in. Um, I do believe that what we've witnessed already with uh, Trichet and now with Draghi, uh, the fact that the ECB bought on the market uh, bonds uh, belonging to those countries already represent de facto uh, mutualization of, of the debt. And, and on that point, um, I think that the, the fact that uh, Mr. Monti managed to persuade uh, most of European leaders to uh, somehow entrust uh, to the European Stability Mechanism, the ESM, the ability to buy uh, bonds into the market really represent uh, a full, uh, fully fledged uh, mutualization of the debt. So we, we are reaching that, that stage. I think that any, any step uh, further in integration will require a broader public participation. Integration and legitimacy, they should go hand in hand. And uh, this is the message uh, sent by Mr. Farrompoy on the eve uh, of, the, of the last summit uh, with the publication of his report, which is just one of the reports that's going to lead to the final report by the end of the year. And I would say there should be more awareness about the need to uh, close the gap existing between citizens and the European integration. And I don't think that uh, playing on institutional design uh, will be enough to uh, inject uh, a legitim legitimate uh, objective in the democratic movement towards uh, closer Europe. Yes, the Growth Pact, um, which stems from the last Council, um, if you go through it, uh, you won't be surprised. There's nothing really innovative. It is a pretty pre-cooked pre uh, recipe for growth uh, that I don't think is wrong per se. I think that's basically what the European Union can do. It has the competence to do, achieving the, the internal market, um, fully liberalizing the energy market, um, providing more resources to the European Investment Bank, um, being capable of making uh, the European Union more resilient vis-à-vis uh, -vis, um, economic crisis. Uh, yet, what is probably lacking there is uh, the willingness to be a bit more creative in identifying uh, the best policy options that are capable to, um, to solve the structural deficiencies of our system. So, if we know that unemployment is so high in the south of Europe, and we know that in the south of Europe we have 
a bunch of well-educated people, why don't we create the conditions for more lab or mobility within the European Union? Uh, we know that uh, uh, Angela Merkel a few months ago made this call uh, which was addressed to the, German, the Spanish engineers asking them to, be, to come to Germany. This kind of labor mobility mechanism should be, should be enforced and overall a market for services should also become a reality at some point. But there's not enough political courage to go towards these directions because of course they are controversial especially these days.